All right. Um. Yeah, this is the offspring of two legends. Tony Cornell and Ziggy Marley. I love the quote, because uh, I was mad into the Marley family. I think of all the musical, the famous musical families, I think the Marleys are actually talented. They're the offspring. Well, I suppose you've got Tim Buckley, Jeff Buckley too. But um, I don't think I've ever met a family where the the famous father had an offspring that were all, well, most of them were great at music, I think, like. I can't remember how many kids Bob Marley had, but he had a few. And, yeah. But then, obviously, Tony Cornell as well. And I think she was kind of exploited by the mum. And maybe that's what, when I watched one of her singing live, I don't know, I felt like she didn't want to be there herself, um, Tony Cornell. So maybe that was uh, because of the mum. Pushing her into things. Um, but anyway. Redemption song. Obviously she did this with her dad. But now it's. Yeah. Chris's daughter. And Bob's son. Doing redemption song. So yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Emancipate yourself from mental slavery, none but ourselves can free our minds. That song, that line alone is, yeah, um, and it's so true. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery, none but ourselves can free our minds. Such a great line. But then, yeah, have no fear for atomic energy because none of them can stop the time. How long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Some say it's just a part of it. It's just even giving me goosebumps. No, it's the same thing I have listening to Masters of War when Eddie Vedder did that. And you just hear the lyrics and how great them lyrics are. And it just, it just goes through me. Like, literally, the second verse of this gives me proper chills. Like, yeah, goosebumps. But let's go. Don't you have to say the sounds of freedom is a heaven.
Ziggy like that. That's what I was going to say, actually. I didn't say it at the beginning, but I saw it because I was banging into Ziggy Marley, too. Um, older Marley fam. Stephen Marley. Damien was my most. Uh, yeah, I was into him a lot. But, um, yeah. That is the offspring of legends right there. Oh, yeah, I didn't say it. Ziggy Marley quote, when I was banging to Ziggy Marley, he says, because um, he's probably the most like his dad, musically. Like, he has the band around him, and, and they're all very much um, of the same philosophy as Bob Marley's music, in terms of their outlook on life, and very much like their dad. But Ziggy Marley says, he's like, if I'm ever doing a show, and the crowd ain't with me. He's like, I do a Bob Marley song, and the crowd goes wild. Like, still to this day, Bob Marley songs have that effect. And Ziggy Marley's like, even like people come to see me, but they don't have the same reaction to my music as they do to his dad's. And um, but I think all the Marley so that do music, because there's even I think one of the grandchildren, is it Kai Marley? Marley, uh, who's quite rap. Damien's quite rap too, apart from his first album, which even still is quite rap. But um, Damien Marley, uh, Patience, if you haven't heard that track, it's him and Nas, but because him and Nas had an album together, and if you ask me, Damien Marley destroyed Nas all over that album. But, um, patience, listen to Damien Marley, patience, listen to the words of that. Some of the smartest dummies can't read the language of Egyptian mummies. We put a man on the moon, but can't find food for the starving tummies. Pay no mind to the youth, because it's not like the future depends on it. But save the animals in the zoo. Because the chimpanzee, they make big money. The, the lyrics in that song is so great when he says, um, can you, oh, I can't even remember. You need to listen to it. Damien Miley, Patience, I recommend that. Such, such great lyrics from him in that song. There's one of my favourite Marley's ev songs, in, even including the dad. Um, you aren't coming, baby. Um, but yeah, that was fire, and she smashed that. The dynamics in her singing, um, it, it is amazing. Her gent, the way she can be gentle with her voice, uh, especially on a song like this as well. This is a hard song to sing. It's a hard pitch to hit, and she can she v very easily and comfortably plays with the gentleness and the softness of the singing and. Yeah, that's, that's hard to do, especially with a song like this. Um, but yeah. Yeah, fire. That's the reaction. Sweet. <laughs> 